input output input output statement generally has three components what to input output how to input output and from where to input or where to output so depending on what components are used we get three types of input output statement the first type is unformatted input output here only what to read or what to write that is what to input or what to output is specified in case of formatted input output what to input output and how to input output is specified that means there are two components this component and this component in case of file input output in addition to above to you may also get from where to read or from or where to write so depending on what components are specified we get three types of input output statements in case of unformatted input output only what to input and or what to output is specified other parts are treated as default or standard let us move to input statement the statement used for input is read statement the first type of read statement we will be learning is unformatted read actually in this lesson we are go going to learn unformatted input output only so the first statement will be unformatted read statement here you can see the syntax of unformatted read statement the syntax is like this read star comma star v1 v2 v3 where these are input variables that means these are variables values of these variables will be given by user and these values will be accepted by the computer this part indicates standard <coughs> instructions for how to read and from where to read this is the example of unformatted read statement read star comma star x where x is the input variable here this statement will input value of x similarly in this statement we have written read within bracket star comma star a comma b comma k comma l that means this statement will read values of a b k and l so let us try to write a program to demonstrate this process Say read start comma star x. So if we run this program, this program will pause for input. We can enter the data, and after that the program will stop working. So I can type value of x, value of x. It will be 23.9. Now the program has stopped. Because there is no output statement, there was no output. To check whether the data has been accepted properly, we can write a write statement. We will learn about write statement just after some time. But let us try to use it. Value displayed is 44.87. Next, I can try to read more than one statement, one values. X, I, let us say P. Here, X and I, sorry, X and P are by default real variables and i is an integer variable so first value is value of x then value of i and then value of t 
So this is how we can input data. Let's move to the next statement. A write statement. So here we learn how to write unformatted write statement. The syntax of unformatted write statement is like this. Now we are familiar with the syntax. Only thing that is different is here we have got list of expressions where expressions represent items that result in a valued value. So this can include constants or parameters, variables, equations and functions. The, these are the examples. This will display value of x. This will display value of r followed by value of this expression that is pi r square followed by this expression. This uh, statement will display value of x followed by value of sine of x then cos of x. This statement will display this text string followed by value of a followed by text string like this. So let us demonstrate how to output values using unformatted write statement. Remove write statement, read statement, and replace that by assignment statement. X equal to 9.8, Y equal to 12.8, K equal to 22. Why? Program has displayed values of x, k, and y. I can also demonstrate how to display text and values together. So this part will display this text string followed by value of x followed by this text string followed by value of y. I can write another statement to display third value. I choose to display anything. Now execute this program and to see the output. So this is text followed by value, followed by text, followed by value and then the next line text followed by value. This is how we can use unformatted write statement. Next statement that is used for output is print statement. So Fortran has two statements for output, write statement and print statement. Syntax of unformatted print statement is as follows. So this is slightly different from write statement. Print followed by the instruction on how to input that is star here that means it is default followed by list of expressions. So this demonstrates, following examples demonstrate how to use print statement. Print star comma x will display value of x. This will display value of r followed by value of this expression followed by value of this expression. Likewise this will display value of x, sine of x 
cos of x and this will display text followed by value followed by text. We can simply change this, replace this with print and remove parenthesis. Now save this and execute. So this is how we get the output. It is important to remember that write and print statement are similar in nature. This is end of the lesson.